A bold new update on the Huawei Nova series, the new Huawei 7i has been making waves especially with the new SoC. But does it have what it takes to play our favorite mobile games? Hi, my name is Colin and today we're going to be taking a look at Huawei's latest mid-ranger, the new Huawei Nova 7i, particularly on its gaming capabilities. We actually already reviewed the Huawei Nova 7i on our website, ungeek.ph, and if you want to know more about that, I will be putting the full review link down below so you can check it out. In our review, we found out that the Huawei Nova 7i is an amazing match for gaming particularly because of the new Huawei Kirin 810 processor. Now, this mid-range processor is a successor to the 710 processor, which was a really good SoC on its own right. It was playing games really well, and now that we have an update, this should actually be better. In this video, we are going to be putting the Huawei Nova 7i through several of today's most demanding and hottest titles, just to see how the Huawei Nova 7i fares in gaming. But before we do, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do so because we're outing more and more videos for you guys. Your support means the world to us. Uh, I'm going to be putting the subscribe button here. Just click that and then click the notification bell so you know when we out a new video. Are you done? Okay, then let the games begin. Now before I start talking about the gaming test, I'd like to talk about the app gallery. Now, the app gallery is Huawei's own app store that's found in a lot of newer phones like the Nova 7i. Now, this actually means that the Huawei Nova 7i does not come equipped with the Google Play Store. If you have yet to try a phone without the Play Store, do not worry as downloading apps on the Huawei Nova 7i is quick and easy. All you have to do is actually use the app gallery, which already has a lot of apps on its own, or use a third-party APK store like APK Pure or APK Mirror. If you're wondering how to download the apps on your new Huawei phone, do not worry as we actually made a handy dandy guide for you guys. I'm going to be putting that video link here or down below so you can check it out. Right now, there are several games already on the app gallery, but more are on their way. Now for this particular video, most of the games that you'll see here you can download via third-party APK store like APK Pure. To download APK Pure, just go to the website, download the store, and remember to install the file once you're done downloading it. Once you have it, you can open APK Pure and download apps and games as you would on the Play Store. And with that out of the way, let's go on and test some games. First up is Mobile Legends, arguably the most popular game in the country today. With the Kirin A10 processor, playing Mobile Legends is a breeze. Now when you open it up, it actually pings it to a high setting. However, if you push it to ultra, you might actually find a few frame rate drops. Now one of the questions that we keep getting, particularly for Mobile Legends, is can I still gain access to my existing ML account? The answer is a definite yes. I've actually installed Mobile Legends on four different Huawei devices, including the Huawei Nova 7i, using just one account. And I have been able to sync all of them successfully. So what you want to do is make sure that you sync it through your Moontoon account. That's very, very particular and that's, I think, the most important one as well. Now for the Nova 7 in particular, if you want to download Mobile Legends, you have to go through APK Pure. Just look for Mobile Legends there, download it, and you're good to go. Make sure to sync your Moontoon account as well so that you can gain access to all your existing data. As for performance, as expected, Mobile Legends performed quite phenomenally on high. Now, don't push it to ultra for now. On temperature, the phone really didn't heat as much, even with three or four consecutive gameplays. Now, up next is Wordscape, a popular casual game title that's a cross between Boggle and a crossword puzzle. Now, for this, I imagine the Nova 7i having no problems with this one. As expected, Huawei Nova 7i can handle this game really, really well. Now, the game doesn't really eat as much graphic resource as the other games that we'll run through through this video. And just because of that, this game will run amazingly well with this phone. Now, for the third game, we have the ever-popular Clash of Clans. And I'm pretty sure, as with Wordscape, this one, the Nova 7i can handle easily. While having a little bit more graphical resources than Wordscape, Clash of Clans is still isn't as graphically intensive as other you know, triple A mobile games out there. So yeah, the Nova 7i can easily, easily, easily handle this. No problems whatsoever. So let's move on to a game that's actually more hardware intensive. PUBG Mobile or Player Unknown's Battleground. 
one of the games that actually pushed the popularity of the battle royal genre out there. Now on initial run and when you open the graphics and display setting, the Huawei Nova 7i actually clocks it at HD graphics and high frame rate. When I click HDR and Ultra HD, it will not allow me to do so. However, playing at HD still actually is an enjoyable experience. Me and my team were able to roam around the map and we were actually quite victorious in the game. Playing it, I was really really impressed of how buttery smooth everything is. Particularly for battle royales and shooters, high frame rate matters a lot. And safe to say, even though you're not playing at Ultra HD graphics, playing PUBG on the Nova 7i is an enjoyable experience. Speaking of shooters, one of the more prevailing questions that we keep on getting, particularly when we talk about the app gallery, is can I play and download COD Mobile or Call of Duty Mobile? The good answer is yes, you can. You don't actually need the JMS or Google Play services to do that. All you have to do with your Huawei phone is to go to the browser, go to tap.io, T-A-P dot I-O. Once you're there, look for Call of Duty Mobile and make sure that you get or download the one that has the Garena logo. Once you have that and downloaded that, install it and then enjoy. You can actually play COD Mobile now. So how does this game fare on the Nova 7i? Well, I'm happy to report that you can actually clock in and push the graphics settings to ultra and the frame rate to very, very high and you are still going to get an amazing experience out of it. When you go through the tutorial, it will clock it at high for both the graphic and the frame rate. But after that, you can tinker with the setting and push everything up and you're supposed to be able to still play the game buttery smooth and all and you will not have any problems. At least we didn't really have any problems. There were no frame rate drops and uh, we got a really enjoyable experience out of that. So what about the app gallery? What kind of games can we expect there? Well. One game that you can download natively, which is a visual feast because of the graphic and its IP, is Saint Seiya. Yup, that anime Saint Seiya. That one will run on the Nova 7i smoothly. Plus, you don't really need to do any workaround because you can simply download it at the app gallery on its own. Graphical works are pretty decent and if you're a fan of the IP, you'll definitely love this. Another game that's making the round is an HBO officially licensed game of Game of Thrones. This is Game of Thrones Beyond the Wall, a tactic-based sort of game. Now I know Game of Thrones is done and while we do have our reservations on certain seasons, ahem, season 8, if you're a fan of the franchise, you might actually want to pick this up. Plus if you're actually a fan of uh, tactic games, this might actually appeal to you. Now you don't really need high frame rates for this because it is a tactics-based game. So if you're into isometric tactic-based games, and just want to see Jon Snow again, you might want to check this out. Finally, we have Asphalt 9, a game we regularly use to benchmark a lot of smartphones. Now this is a hardware intensive racing game and in the Nova 7i, when we were testing it, we did not experience any slowdown, any lag down, and the frame rates were pretty consistent as well. Zoom into the streets, customize your car, and win that race. The Nova 7i can actually do it. And there you have it, that is the power of the Huawei Nova 7i. Thanks to its stellar hardware, the Huawei Nova 7i is indeed a great match for gaming, especially with its price tag of 13,990. Plus, downloading games is easy as well thanks to the App Gallery, which is one of the fastest growing app stores in the world as well. That and the ability to use third-party APK stores. Now, if you've made it to the end, thank you so much for watching and let us know what you think of the Huawei Nova 7i in the comment section down below. Again, this is Colin and as always, guys, please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Keep on gaming.